All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rika, Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth. I'm going to make this pretty quick, but I wanted to make a video on this right here. Um, on your screen, uh, I guess it's this, I guess this uh, rapper on the right, you know, is uh, Boosie. Lil Boosie. And this is one of his, I guess, used to be his artist that got off of his label uh, for what apparent reason. But anyway, uh, so Boosie is going back and forth or putting this guy here on your left. I think his name is Blue or something like that. I'm not sure. But he's trying to get the uh, the owners of Empire to knock him off, this guy on the left. Boosie trying to get this guy on the left knocked off because he left Boosie's record label to go to Empire. Now, Empire, which is owned by this uh, Ishmaelite named Ghazi, you know, allegedly he's been getting a lot of his artists, uh, you know, he's been making money off of them. And I guess when once the uh, contract is up or close to being up or something to that extent, he uh, gets them murdered. And and in that same sense, he usually have uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, he usually have a life a, a life insurance policy on his artist, so he gets paid off from regardless. You know, doing the same thing Esau Edom does. You know, but with that being said, I wanted to bring the guy Gazi up. Uh, he's over Empire. And this is uh, his name, uh, Ghazi uh, Shaami. It's a Palestinian American music technologist, recorded record producer, audio engineer, entrepreneur, CEO, and founder of Empire Distribution. Uh, Empire Distribution was founded in 2010 in San Francisco, California. Empire. Distribution has offices in New York, Nashville, UK, and Middle East, and the Middle East. So, let's see how Ghazi look. You can see Ghazi is a, uh, he's an Ishmaelite, man. And you notice, a lot of these guys, they, you know, they, they, they want to be Israel so bad, you know. Look how he dressed, you know. And they want to be is is Israel so bad that they doing whatever. They want to be in the music game. All for their benefit, though. Okay. And uh, the things that I have heard that's going on with this guy, you know, he's like I said before, he knocks off a lot of his artists. I know uh, at one point in time he was had to was going to do a, a deal with uh uh the Memphis rapper named Young Dolph. Uh some kind of way he ended up getting what well, you know, Young Dolph was in a whole lot of extra, so who's to say? But his name came up first, okay, before all this other stuff started to, you know, uh come around. It said Ghazi. And one of uh Young Dolph's um one of his artists uh, did a deal or something, something to the extent. But his name, this guy here, his name came up uh, with Young Dolph murder. Uh, what's the other guy now? His name came. Uh, the other artist, uh, Mo Three out of uh, Dallas, I believe, Dallas, Texas. His name come came up. Uh, this guy here with the murder of um, uh, what's his name? Uh, and a, and a few more artists. You can probably look them up. So, uh, matter of fact, let's just do this. Uh, let me see. Empire Record uh, Label Artist Death. There we go. There we go. You can see. Uh, I it, it came up before I even 
you know, typed it up. Okay, let's see. Okay, wow. It says content. What is Empire Artists? Which Empire record label artists killed? Damn. Empire artists that died list. Said Aaliyah, XX Extension, King Von, Slim 400, Mo3, Young Dolph, PNB Rock, Video Empire artists that died list. So. Okay, so. We got a few more on the list. D Smoke, <laughs> Boosie Badass, and Five Boy D M L. So, you know, uh, the the video I was watching with uh, with uh, this this lady here. This is her channel, Miss Lowdown. And you know, who can you know a lot of you know how women do. They can talk up something. So, you know, with this video here. Uh, it was going into how Boosie, which is this guy here, was putting throwing this guy here on the bus, saying that he wanted to leave Empire. So, knowing that uh, things that Empire does, you know, they knock their artists off if you know things ain't going Empire way. Okay, allegedly. Okay. So. For all you young guys out there that's trying to be rappers, hey, it ain't what it it ain't all what it seems. You know, it's just hey, music is nothing no more. Like the scripture go into uh, you know, the song how's it go? Uh, the birds. Uh, I got I have to look that up, but let's let's uh, let's see if we can find. I think it's in the Book of Lamentation actually. Uh. The music is low. Uh, how's it go, Salaki? Forgive me for let's see. Let's see if we can grab it. The music. Let's see, put music KJB. Let's see if we can grab one. Hopefully, I think it's in. I know it's got to be in. Could have sworn it. It's better to hear the people. I could have sworn it was in uh, Lamentation. Matter of fact, let's, the music is low. That's how that's how the scripture goes. So like it for that, and that's and no, and and that's how the music is now. It's not what it used to be. The music ain't. It's not really. Is the music low? Is the music is low? Or? Okay, let's see if we can grab. It. Maybe it'll come up like this. Ecclesiastes. Okay, I guess it wasn't uh, Lamentation. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 4 says, And the doors shall be shut in the streets. When the sound of the grinding is low, he and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of the music shall be brung low. And that's definitely what it is. The music is brung low now. It's not even worth even having you know, a, a music career, okay? There's nothing, you know, everything is cutthroat now. It's, it's definitely low. Uh, let's see. It says, the daughter of the music shall be brung low, and it's definitely brung low. Uh, you know what, I would love to look, let's look that up in the blue letter, Ecclesiastes 12 and 4, Okay. Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. See, Brung Low. See what the uh, blue letter has to say with this. Uh, okay. It says uh, the outline of the biblical use is to bow, crouch, uh, bow down, be brung down. To be brung down, be uh, prostrated, be humble. Uh, let's see. Be cast down. Okay. And anything that this guy here, Gazi, has to do with it, man, you know, that dude, man, he's a he's a demon, man, and 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 it's just crazy how um, 
that these people don't see. They don't see it. You know, Jake is worried about money, money, money. When the money about to go digital, and then right before it go digital, or right after it goes digital, you know, it's going to, you know, it, it's going to, uh, uh, you know, it, go into that, the, you know, to be able to access it. You know, you may be able to access it through your phone to begin with, but eventually, you know, you're going to have to be your phone. You're going to have to be a microchip in your head or your fore, you know, your hand, your either hand or your forehead. Okay. So, hey, money ain't what it used to be. So, music ain't even what it used to be. Okay. So, I think, uh, yeah, Dolph was getting ready to uh, uh, go half. Uh, let's let's just put that in uh, Empire Records and Young Dolph uh, Venture. Am I spelling that right? I don't think I am. Let's see. Uh, it says Young Dolph later revealed that he signed a distribution deal with Empire. So, uh, okay, a joint venture between Paper Route Empire and. Uh, Empire Distribution. Uh, but Dolph wanted to buy. That's what he said. Why it is true that Dolph has released music with Empire in the past. Empire is actually a music distribution company, not a label. Dolph's own record label, uh, Paper Rock Empire, signed a partnership deal with Empire for distribution. Uh. uh but anyway, let's get to the scriptures. Okay, I want to get the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 1. Okay, it says, God implored to confound his enemies. So these are all the enemies of the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It says, a song, a song or a psalm of Asap, keep not thy silence, O God, or power, hold not thy peace. Be not still, O power, for lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Okay? This is all the enemies of the Israelites. And, and you know, it, it, this, the story kind of went left, but, you know, it's all about this guy Gazi, man. Okay? This is Gazi that's, uh, you know, he's an Ishmaelite, man. All the things, you know, Gazi is... You know, uh, it's cutting a, a lot of niggas off, putting them, getting them put to death. Okay, getting them put to death. Verse three, it says, "They have taught, they have taken crafty counsel against my people. They have consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation.' And this and these are all the nations that have have made a a, a, a tumult." Or, uh, you know, against the Israelites. Okay? You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So this is why the whole, this is why I brought up this, uh, you know, to do this this lesson. So you will see, you know, and they still doing it. This is, this is the plan that's playing out between all the nation against you Israelites. You know? It says that they name that that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. You know, you won't know who you are as a nation of people. You still think you're a nigger. OK, you think you're a Negro or black American. You know, these names has been cut off. But in the times that we're in now, the Lord is allowing us to uh, us to remember who we are as a nation of people. And being in this uh, rap game ain't what the Lord wants, man. That's why he's allowing these uh, different nations to put us to death. 
or put you to death. Lord, the water you have by seeing me outside, forget me out of that, you know, that rap game uh, situation that I thought I possibly could have, uh, you know, uh, you know, a future in. <laughs> uh, says uh, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together. See, all nations have consulted together against you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. With one consent, they are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, which is the so-called white man, and the Ishmaelites. And that's God's man. He's an Ishmaelite. Okay? He's Ishmael, man. Okay? Now, I think this guy, I think, from what they say, he was worth... Uh, 40 million or 20, uh, I got right here, 30 million now. Now, I, I think uh, Young Dolph, where it was that he had about, a, uh, he had 100 million or more, okay? And he wanted to go, you know, go half on the company. This is, you know, what the streets were saying, okay? And the reason he got put to death was he was making too much money. So the elites offered him a record label and, they, you know, they you know, and he turned it down. And we all know, you know, when you start to make a lot of money. I remember uh, Professor Griff had a video about when you make a certain amount of money, they come to you with a, a, a contract. And this was before I even seen. Well, before the uh, the situation with Young Dolph, you know, I seen that video like years ago. It had to have been about eight years ago before the death of Young Dolph. He said, if you start making a lot of money, the lease will come to you with a contract. If you don't uh, take the contract, they'll, they'll have you whacked, man. They'll, they'll knock you off. Okay? And that's what happened with Young Dolph. You know, they're trying to put a lot of the other things, a lot of, you know, they making chess moves by putting a lot of other people in it to make it think, you know, to keep their hands off of it. Okay. It says the Ishmaelites of Moab, which is the uh, Chinese and the Hagarines, uh, uh, Jabal, Ammon, Japanese. Uh, I think Hagarines is, uh, I believe they are uh, Africans, I believe. Let's see. Uh, East of Palestine. So, uh, who try? A lot of times, uh, you know, the blue letter go off. Like, uh, uh, I probably have to look up. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see if it'll give me something. Uh, uh, I was trying not to make this too long. Who are the uh, let's see associated with Ishmael mentioned in the Hebrew Bible inhabitants or region uh so they're saying the Hagarines, yeah, are the Ishmaelites. Okay. We'll roll with that. <laughs> you know, uh, but uh, let's, let's finish that off so we can uh, just end this video here. Uh, it says Ishmael, uh, Moab, Hagarines, Jabal, Ammon, Amalek, which is the little hat, sorry, the small hats, and the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. And uh, the Africans, okay. But yeah, the the point is that you know you can't do deals with these people, man. You know, I know it's a certain amount of things you you know you you kind of want, but a lot of this stuff can be to your demise, man. Okay. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and end it. It was long enough. Lord willing, this had to find to the flock. Shalom.